What is going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and today we're going to be talking about Cardano NFTs. How to get in on them early before they go parabolic. And this has been prompted kind of by just seeing the sheer number of people using cnft.io, Cardano NFT marketplace in the past month. I believe they started a month ago over a million dollars worth in sales on cnft.io, which is insane and they've smashed past this since and they are really making some ground here and today i want to cover how do you get in on these nft projects how do you know about them before they're all minted out or before their price floor is super super hard to get in meaning you got to pay you know 500 ADA to get in that's the new floor how do you get in at the start at the cheapest amount well there's a few ways and today i'm going to share with you the ways that i have learned in the past month the first way is to you know browse this cnft marketplace browse this marketplace see what's going on look at the verified projects and then oftentimes you can even go to these verified projects and look them up on twitter that's how you can find a lot about them you can see finger monsters you can go over to twitter and you can type in finger monsters right finger and then you can see what everyone's saying about that and see what's going on. So Finger Monsters is a really popular Cardano project. And one thing I want to preface this whole video by saying is that I am never personally going to buy any Cardano NFTs that I don't like. I don't care if they have a huge amount of followers and they're going to do great. If I don't like it, I'm not going to buy it. That's just me. I don't invest in things I'm not going to you know, want to hold for five plus years. And I apply this to NFTs as well. NFTs, I have a better chance at flipping and selling than I would my actual Cardano holdings. But NFTs at the same time, I'm not going to put in 100 Cardano into something that I don't really like or even 20 Cardano. So there's a lot of different NFTs out there. There's so many different things out there. Make sure you guys are choosing things that you actually like. So say this NFT project doesn't do so well, you still have that you know, assurance that I like the NFT. I like the shiny JPEG. So it's not a bad deal. And most of the time when an NFT project is gonna do well, you can quite easily sell your NFT back if you've minted it on the first mint set for the same price or more, pretty easily. So how do you get in on these before they launch? Well, the easiest way to do that is to go to Twitter or to a website like when CNFT. Now this website is a great resource. Highly encourage you support the people who make this and also just check out this website. So you can go to when, what, how, and more, but when is, you know, new drops that are coming. And a lot of these are new drops on existing projects. They're not always going to be super, you know, exclusive some of them are just like reiterated drops because not all projects are one mint and done a lot of them are ongoing they mint different series um, and there's a lot of that going on but this is going to be a website that you can go to to just see a bunch of things see what you like you know maybe you like cardano beans i like this one and they're still on the minting side of things where you can still mint cardano beans at the floor right 22 ada you can mint a cardano bean so there's something right there that's still early. They haven't sold out yet where something like Space Buds has. And Space Buds did this amazingly. They were the first big NFT projects on Cardano and they have you know, sold out. 10,000 Space Buds, 58 each, they sold out. And if you wanted to get in early on this, you pretty much had to be on Twitter or on Discord at the time. When CNFT, I don't believe was around back then, but you can go to when CNFT, see what see how to buy, see so many different things, and also what's upcoming. And if you're tired of missing out on NFT drops, Twitter's the place to go, and so is when CNFT. And then after the drops go, if you wanna get decent prices or see what the see what things are selling for, CNFT.io is a great place to see what they're listed for, and soon enough, you're gonna be able to see what they're sold for. Another great resource to keep in mind is discord okay i'll leave a few discord channels in the description and you can go to those discords and see what's going on in the nft community there is a strong nft community in the cardano discords and you can buy sell trade over there too with discord bots and another great resource but i want to keep in mind that 
Cardano is still developing smart contracts. And once smart contracts do launch on September 12th, the NFT scene is going to be even more developed and it's going to continue to develop into something very similar in my eyes like Ethereum. As Cardano skyrockets, I believe the NFT scene will, and that'll also contribute back to Cardano skyrocketing in price and skyrocketing in users. Another great project, which is kind of all minted out now, is Cardano Bits. If you were in on this early and you're on Twitter, you could have seen them. And if you like the arts, if you like the idea, you can get in on them. So there's lots of good projects on Twitter to check out. Cardano Kids, a whole different, you know, ecosystem of nfts they have different series that come out different kind of seasons it's pretty cool another successful cardano nft project which is not really early anymore but i'm just showing you examples of things that you know a few months ago were pretty unknown and if you like the art if you like the things in them and you want to buy some nfts there's a good chance that these projects that you like can also succeed now one more thing is crypto kitties cardano based knitted uh, kitties and they're pretty cool not crypto kitties crypto nitties. I don't know what I'm saying, but um, I like this one I want to buy one and that's my reason. I like it I don't really have a huge expectation of return, but if I'm gonna buy an nft It's gonna be something I actually like and that's all I got to say for you guys If you want to get in on nft projects early go to Twitter search up in the top in your search bar C N F T, bam not M and after you've done that you can have uh, you know, a huge amount of options about projects. Click on them, go to their websites, go to their discords, see what's up, see what you like. That is so important. See what you like. In my eyes, that is the most, you know, the most easiest way, I don't know why I worded it like that, to actually get in early is to just find things you like that are still you know, in the process of developing or still in that pre-minting stage or that you know, minting floor that is, you know, 20, 30 ADA, or you can get in, get like five of them, get one of them even for super cheap. And it's not going to be a huge hit if you lose it. And also there's a good chance these go up because the NFT space is growing. And as long as that team, that NFT team is active on social media and continues to market their NFT project, it's going to be good for you. Anyways, Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you find it helpful, insightful, or something like that. Check out the description. I'm going to leave links to when CNFT, the CNFT.io marketplace, and also some Discord channels which have CNFT auctions and just all types of Cardano NFTs running around. So you can check out and see what you like. And then from there, go with how far they are into development, how good is their marketing, and how much would you be okay with holding this if it didn't blow up. But the easiest way to me is just to be active on Twitter and follow a bunch of people that are talking about Cardano NFTs. And then you can find things you like and also find things that are still early. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great freaking day. I'll see you guys in the next Cardano video tomorrow. Peace out.